uh, beloved students in this in this video lecture we are going to discuss about an another simple experiment in this ac machines laboratory series that is the load test on a given single phase induction motor so the objective is to get the performance characteristics of the given single phase induction motor by conducting the load test and this is a circuit diagram for the for conducting load test on a single phase induction motor this single phase inductor motor is made up of a spool cage rotor and this is this represents the spool cage rotor and there are two windings here so m1 and m2 you call it as the main winding and a1 a2 you call it as the axillary winding so this you call it as the starting capacitor and you call it as the running capacitor and we know that the single phase induction motor is not a self starting one by its performance by its nature itself and hence you need we need a main flux as well as an axillary flux to get a, a, to get a revolving speed or to develop the necessary torque to make the motor a self starting one by making the rotor to rotate so at the time of starting the both the main field and axillary field will be active so when the machine starts rotating this centrifugal switch disconnects the axillary winding and when the running capacitance alone is going to be there so this is starting and this is running to improve the power factor okay coming to the procedure how to do this experiment give the connection as per the circuit diagram close the switch close the switch and now close the switch now the machine starts rotating the machine starts rotating so what is happening now so so the machine is now running at a no load no load at a no load condition okay now so under no load condition measure the line current line voltage what meter reading and speed and of course so the load the which which we should be always zero and if it is not so you have to take it as an error value so and after taking the no load reading so you have to add the load by so slowly tightening this brake drum and thereby tightening the rotor a mechanical load is given to the machine and for each our addition of the load you have to take so another set of these readings so you have to repeat the process until you read, reach the rated current and uh, current slightly above the rated current so once the readings are taken switch off the connection or remove the release the load bring back its original condition and switch off the motor by opening the dpsts so do the calculation to find this efficiency uh, slip power factor and everything so after getting you have to draw the performance characteristics curve using the obtained results so compare the results for various load conditions how the efficiency changes that means how the efficiency changes with respect to the addition of load and how the torque changes with the addition of load how the slip changes with the addition of load and also draw the torque versus slip characteristics and give into into your interpretation based on the shape of the curve and on the data that is available in your tablet caller so once everything is over it is corrected and give it as a report at the end of this class okay thank you